Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for checking out the video. Got a box from my friends over at Chip Brand, and uh, gonna open it up, show you what they got. I actually already cut open the box real quick, so just open that real fast. Uh, Chip's a pretty cool brand that uh, I'm pretty hyped on. I like their image and everything that they're doing. And uh, my good friends Carlos Vega and Terrell Robinson skate for them. So, this is what they sent. Looks like a bunch of tees, sweaters, and a bunch of boards, of course. So, I'll just put this right here, and we'll just go through it. So, first tee. Ooh, damn, they're nice quality, too. Just a cool chip logo. Every company's gotta have a good logo, you know? And uh, I really like Chip's logo, too. This is a medium, so I'll probably be giving this away. Hiding it somewhere for you guys. Let's go for the next one. This is an XL. Probably be giving this to my friend. Probably give it to my friend Scott Savage. Skate Life Supply. He's always helping me out. Hook him up with an XL chip shirt. Be psyched. Ooh, damn, that's a tight sweater. Pretty sick. Got a zip up hoodie. Chip Gang. It's pretty tight. This is a XL. Ooh, this one looks really sick. Hopefully it's a large. Extra large. Too big for me. Extra large chip brand. Pretty tight. Another cool shirt. This is a large, so I'll probably be keeping that. Shirts are really nice material too. It's not like uh, those thick tees. I like thin tees. They breathe a lot better so when it's hot. Got a sweater. Pretty sick. This one is a XL. Three of the same shirt, so or it's four of them actually. So I'll just open one of them. that. I actually met with the owner of Chip yesterday and talked with them and uh, they seem like really cool peeps. So if people running companies seem pretty cool to me, I'm always hyped to try and help them out and see what they're doing. All right, so now to check out the, uh, the extra cool fun stuff. It's the first board, size eight. Holy crap, it's a Carlos Vega Pro model. That's freaking awesome. Dang, that's so sick. Crispy pop. I like their graphics, they're, they're smart, they're witty. The top graphic's pretty sick. Dude, this guy kind of looks like you. <laughs> Check it out. Hold on. <laughs> this is the homie Brady, Brady's been helping Dude. me film. Check it out. <laughs> that's so sick. <laughs> Here's the next board. This one is a Jesus Esteban. Shit brand also. Pretty sick, same top. Willy Wonka stees going on right there. <laughs> Ooh, that's sick. Terrell Robinson. That's a dope graphic. That's killing it. Also a size eight. Damn, props to the homies Terrell and uh, Carlos, man. So it is kind of cool that I can like set the boards and everything right next to me so you can see them longer in the video. You can do that more often. All right, board number four, another size eight. It's a Terrell Robinson. Looks like, uh, is that Scooby Doo or Batman? Uh, I don't know what that is. That looks like Dracula or something to me. I don't yeah. know. Can't tell. Looks pretty sick though, back yeah, in the graphic. There. Here is another size eight. Carlos Vega, oh dang. Getting that old Coke feel going. That's pretty rad. Now these boards look like they got good shape too. There. And a 775, yeah. This is what I'm gonna skate, because I skate the smaller boards. So I'll either skate this one, which is the OG chip, 
or this one, which is another OG chip. So those are the ones I'm going to skate and test out today. We'll see how they are. There's the boards, seven boards, whole stack of T's and stuff. And uh, I'm going to set one up now. All right, so cruised over Silverado Park. Got this chip board. Gonna set it up real quick and uh, do a little skate test. See how good this board is at tray flipping. So, got some mob grip. I actually like mob a lot. I like the really, really, really grippy shit. A lot. I like super grippy grip. So, super hyped on that. I love all these little logos on here though, man. There's some funny ones on there. There's like a naked chick, some dice, some money, some pills. <laughs> <laughs> Some crazy stuff, and then there's your logo. <laughs> so, throw this grip on real fast. Let's see if I can do it perfectly. There we go. So, gosh. So, how I grip is I always leave a line right there so you don't have to cut it. So it makes it a lot easier to uh, just go around that way. And uh, I always sand down my grip edges. Since I've been doing these board setup videos, I've been realizing a lot of people don't even do this part. And that's amazing to me because I feel like my razor doesn't even cut it if I do that, you know? So all the homies out there who are master grip tapers and don't even need to sound their stuff down. Just gotta give you guys a high five, man. You guys are freaking gnarly. I gotta do that part, I have to. I worked at a skate shop, 118 board shop, RIP back in the day. And uh, I always had to do that. And I thought I was pretty good at grip taping until I saw my friends doing that. And I was like, man, you guys are way better than me. I'm still an amateur. So. Pretty excited to skate this board. Super hyped for uh, Carlos Vega and Trell Robinson. This really seems like a good spot for them. And uh, you know, I'm always hyped on the homies. Get hooked up by a cool company. And uh, I think Chip's gonna be a good fit for those guys. I'd be pretty hyped to go on some trips with them also. It'd be fun. So sometimes, I do this the dumb way and it takes forever. You know, I'll have my tool and I'll be poking around, but I'm just gonna do it quick, easy way today. Just jam that through all, all eight real fast. Speed that up. There we go. Benito. You guys don't know too, I love whiteboards, so. I got two of these, I'm psyched. So I'm taking off my last Lowland Kings board that I got. And uh, these boards are really good. Bummed it's my last one, but uh, you know, I have no shortness of boards. So, let's see how fast I can take this off. Good old silver tool, best tool in the biz. It's got that ratchet action going, man. You just fly through everything. Like nothing, dude. You don't even need a power drill or power tool when you got this thing. I know some dudes who literally keep all their power tools and shit in their car so that this is like even faster. And it's like, man, it doesn't even take you that long, you know? Fly through that like nothing. I always do one truck at a time too because I, I hate mixing them up. So I just take off my front or my back one, put it on, and then uh, let's do the other one because getting that mix up sucks, man. It's the only thing, since I put grip tape on there, there's a bunch of crap on there. So since I put grip on the truck, there's a bunch of wood on there. You bang it off, you see it all comes off. Well, sometimes it's a lot more than that, so that wasn't really as cool as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Show you guys one of my secrets if you've never seen one of my unboxing videos before board setups take off the the old grip tape put on the new grip tape 
I do this so my trucks don't shift around. I hate when my trucks shift around, so I always do this. Be careful, kids, if uh, you have a razor like this. I actually think using a, an X-Acto blade like that is safer than using just a razor by itself. So I tend to always try and use one of those. truck I like these diamond this diamond hardware because it just has one silver bolt and you just always put that in the front makes it way easier so I don't forget I'm skating about to be 22 years on June 14th I started the last day I started skating the last day of my freshman year and uh, it's about to come up 22 years, man. I should plan something cool this year, you know? Like go do some like awesome skate day or something, but we'll see how it goes. I always wanted to do something cool and then for some reason I never do anything cool on my big skate day, my skate birthday. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe play some cool games of skate or something. Every year that would be kind of cool because I could like create some type of cool video. My 22nd year of skateboarding, you know what I mean? Like. That'd be pretty sick. I think YouTube, the YouTube community would be hyped on that. Cool. So normally I just tighten it enough so it stays on and then go back to my old board and then take off that truck. Because now that one's on, I won't get them mixed up and screw my life up. Not down for that, you know? I'm trying to waste no time. The older you get, you're really about not wasting time. Wasting time is horrible. None of that. Fly through this, get it off as quick as I can. So, what was your first skateboard? My first skateboard was a local skateboard or a local skate park skateboard called Four Seasons in Milwaukee. Yeah. Shout out to them for sure. Tight. That was probably seven years ago, and that was my first board for a long time, obviously. Yeah. And then. Switched over to a revive board. Oh no way! Yep. Tight. Dude. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah, I love all the revive dudes are really cool guys, man. Yeah. I really like hanging out and chilling with those guys. Just got back from Vegas with them. All those vlogs are on my channel now. You should check them out. Some pretty cool stuff in there. Pretty psyched on my vlog series and how it's coming along. Filming with this Lampart gimbal is freaking amazing, dude. It's really sick. Done. Time to skate this awesome park. There's a bunch of kids here today too. That's pretty rad. Sometimes you come here early, there's no one here. Shout out John Hill for getting me into skating this park because I didn't really skate it before. Serious, huh? Yep. This park owes a lot to John Hill. It's pretty tight. Can't wait till that dude moves back to LA, man. Hanging out with him a lot. Skating and filming. All the time. All right. Let's fly through this. Let's do business. So I'm gonna walk over, try the no warm up tray flip challenge. I'm anticipating it'll go really well, but uh, you never know. I might blow it, a sucker. But I hope I don't. Oh, blew it! That was pretty bad, but whatever. All right, so I'm gonna give the chipboard a little bit of a skate test. Already got a little warmed up, you know, but uh, let's see how this goes.
All right, guys, that does it for uh, this skate test for this board. I really like the wood. Um, the wheelbase is a little small, so if you like smaller wheel wheelbases, you'll really like this board. Thanks, Chip, for sending me the boards. And uh, if you guys want, I'm gonna be giving away all of the stuff that I got from this box on my Instagram and through Chip's Instagram. So follow both these Instagrams right here for a chance to get free boards, tees, sweaters, everything. Everything you saw in this video, I'm giving away. So definitely follow these and uh, yeah, you get a chance to get some free. I'm also gonna hide something at the end of this video too. So keep watching, don't turn it off yet, watch. So also gonna give the homie a board for helping film. Thank you. Dude, thanks so much, Brady. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Hit you up tomorrow. Definitely, for sure. All right, later, G. Later. Peace. All right, guys, what's up? So, it's an AMF bowling in Torrance on Western. And uh, right across the street, there's this building. So, uh, pretty much, only someone who lives in this area is going to be able to see or tell where this is, but hiding this skateboard. Jesus Esteban over here in the bushes right behind it so there's this bush right here it's right there come and get it guys got it <laughs>